Recently, the Unidome was packed with people. No, not for football or not for track, but an arts and craft show? That's right, the 24th annual Callahan Promotions Incorporated Arts and Craft Show took place over a two-day period, Saturday, October 26th and Sunday, October 27th, in the UNI Dome. Shoppers had the chance to buy handmade products from vendors themselves. I talked with Tom Callahan, who is in charge of the show, and he explains more about the arts and crafts. Well, what it entails, we've got exhibitors from eight different states selling anything that they've made. They have to be making a product in order to be qualified to be in the show. Um, and we've got old furniture, jewelry, candles, a lot of different food products, a lot of different clothing items, just a, you know, candles. It's a lot of different types of products, and it's all products that these people have made and then they brought into the show. Creativity is key in order to make it to this arts and crafts show. Seemed like everyone was enjoying themselves at the 24th annual show. Tom tells us how it's changed over the years. Actually, our very first year here, we had 16,000 people. And uh, this, I'm not quite sure how many people we'll have here today, but it's not 16,000 people, though. It, there was a time 15, 20 years ago that craft shows was really booming, and it's leveled off, and we're doing well. It's, it's, it's doing good. It's a really good day to day for us. A lot of that is because the weather is so cold, and and uh, it helps to have cold weather outside during a craft show. The chilly weather outside makes for a great arts and craft show? Who would have guessed? But before the weather changed and October rolls around, how do these exhibitors hear about the show? A lot of exhibitors tell other exhibitors about our show promotions, and because they've done so well at our shows, a lot of word of mouth on signing up for our shows. A lot of exhibitors go to other shows and tell other exhibitors at these other shows what they've done with us and how well they've sold. And that's a lot of it is it's all based on sales. If you don't sell, you're not going to do the show again. And it's all about, for us, it's about advertising. We do an awful lot of advertising. And we don't go just in around Cedar Falls, Waterloo for this show. We're out throughout the entire state of Iowa in advertising this show. So people don't just come from Parkersburg or, or Independence or, or Jessup or anything. It's, it's people from there, but it's also people from Davenport, Iowa, from Dubuque, Iowa, from Des Moines, Iowa. They come from all over the state to this show because it's such a good show. Packing the Unidome with so many different original products and items from around the Midwest makes for a wonderful show. Since there are so many different products and selling happens during the Arts and Crafts show, I asked Tom himself what his favorite thing is about the craft show throughout the years. My favorite thing about the show is I get to work with a lot of the exhibitors that are absolutely outstanding, hardworking people that have a lot of ethics. And for me, a lot of it is uh, you get to know a lot of the personalities and because we've known most of these exhibitors we've known for 10, 15, 20 years, it, it's almost like a family reunion every time we do a show because these people get so fond of each other and it's such a well, well, it's just a good group of people that we work with and that's, that's kind of the high point for us. Original handmade products and items, a friendly environment, and a family reunion? Sounds like this year's Arts and Crafts Show was a success. If you've missed the 24th annual Arts and Crafts Show, you can always look forward to the 25th anniversary, sure to happen next year in the fall. Reporting for Cedar Falls City News, I'm Bridget Reedy.